Hi. This uh, tutorial is going to show you how to install Reloaded on a Mac. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because it works really well on a Mac. In fact, Windows works probably better on a Mac than it does on an IBM computer. Anyway, this is going to be an awesome game creator. Just take a look at some of this footage. Now, I'm not having any lag, and I'm running at full frame rate, and I've filled up this uh, scene with quite a bit of dynamic objects, entities, and um, it's working fine. So I really enjoy it. So the first thing you want to do is open Boot Camp Assistant, which you will find um, under your Utilities. Um, you click on that, and basically you just follow the instructions. What you want to do if you're installing on a USB, which I am because I have a brand new Mac, um, you the Assistant will help you create a Windows 7 USB install disk on your flash drive. And then uh, from there you press continue and of course you have to download Windows 7 first. You have to have a full legal copy of Windows 7. Uh, the Mac will find it immediately. It will also find the flash drive that's plugged into the back of the Mac and it should be plugged into the back. Press continue and basically the um, flash drive will be formatted and the um, Windows 7 software will be put on that flash drive and everything you need and then basically the installation will continue now I will skip forward now you were to the part where you um, have to create a partition for your Windows program I give it 200 about 200 uh, gigabytes which I think is a, a good amount to do. I will skip forward now. So now uh, Windows will continue on its own to install. Just follow the directions. This is all about just following the directions. Doing your installation of Windows, it most likely won't recognize your wireless keyboard and mouse for some reason. You have to uh, wait until the full installation is done before those things are recognized plus the mouse has real troubles and I always have to reinstall it every time I use the Windows so basically I got myself a Microsoft mouse and um, you will need a, a USB keyboard to finish the installation so that's the only thing that really sucks but it doesn't matter because um, most people have an extra old, you know, keyboard hanging around and an old mouse. Like you could just put a USB mouse on there and it would work fine for the installation. Um, in this next part, let's see, where are we here? In this next part, this is the, the crucial part. And basically, you'll get a, a point where they they want to ask you where to install Windows. Now you scroll down to the bottom and you'll see Disk 1 Partition for Boot Camp. You can't install it on there, you have to format that drive. So you go down to, on the bottom right hand corner, you can hardly see it here, but it says Drive Options Advanced. You click on that and then the Format button comes. You press on the Format button. Once it's formatted, you'll see it at the bottom, you scroll down again, and there it is, disk one partition four, there's the 208 gigabytes I allotted for it, and you'll click on that and Windows will install on that, and basically Windows will install like it would on any other PC, it's pretty straightforward, straight up, and now um, we go to, very quickly, this is the reloaded setup 
so basically you just go once Windows is installed just go download reload it and everything you need for it DirectX and um, install it basically that's the DirectX and uh, it's pretty straightforward runs really well okay this uh, window here is just showing that I'm running reloaded uh, as administrator that's for some reason the only way it works for me so try that if it doesn't work for you right sorry right click the icon and run it as administrator and it will work so obviously I've sped this uh, part of the video up but creating this level almost took the same amount of time than what you s then you see how I'm playing right now like I'm so impressed with with reloaded and um, I've hardly had any problems with that at all in fact I could almost make a game with it right now just the way it is uh, I haven't been having the lag issues I've been running at full frame rates and uh, no problem I, I don't know if that's because I'm doing it on a Mac but I love it